Just gonna be like happy with what you have. If you're gonna be like, yes, I need more, more, more. Yes. 
And then also we're working that on our challenges. So you can either have more or choose to have the less of which is going to be a surprise whether which one is more or less. We don't know. Okay, so um, who is familiar with the game Simon Says? Awesome. Okay, we're not playing that. Okay. Okay. But we are playing a game that is similar to Simon Says, of which I'm having a really hard time pronouncing the words. So we'll just call it. What was that? Okay. So. <laughs> okay. So the way the game is, um, well, I'll say. Um, like what Simon says, you say Simon says something. And if you don't say Simon says, then you're out. So with this game, I will say order, okay? So it'll be order up, which means you stick out your hands, palms up, let me see your palms, yeah? And then if I say order down, your hands, palms down. And then if I say order nose, you touch your nose. If I say order lobes, you touch your lobes. And if I say order bows, you touch your elbows. Okay? Now, if I don't say order, you're out. And you have to follow what I say, not what I do. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, let's see if y'all don't confuse me. <laughs> okay, so, y'all ready? Yeah. All right, everybody stand up. Huh? What if you do it wrong? You're out. You're out. I, am I? No. no. I won't be out. Okay. Y'all ready? All right. Oh, and then, oh, one more. If I say, you stick out, point out your fingers, and you go like this. Yeah. There you go. Ready? Okay. Order up. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, Order bows. Whoa! I saw that. Okay. No, she didn't say order. Oh, that's, that's like almost everybody who, who stayed up. Anybody else? Anybody stayed up? Just you were up. You did. We got. We got. We got. Did you have to say order before you said that? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Let's take, let's try again, let's try again. All right. You ready? Oh, it's a practice round. Okay. Um, order nose. Order lobes. Order up. Order down. Order nibbly the boo 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 Okay. Um, order up. Down. Oh, I saw you. Okay. Okay. All right, you guys, I need you to watch because I think I might be cheating here. Okay. Okay. Ready? Order pose. Order nose. Order nibbly boo Lobes. Order up, order down, lows, order nose, order elbows. Am I out? I don't know. You can touch your elbow. Elbows? Okay. Order nibbly Down. Order up. Order bows. Nose. Ah, I saw you. I saw you. How many do we have? Five. Six. We've got six. Okay, you guys. You ready? Okay. Order up. Order down. Order nose. Order lows. Order bows. Nose bows. Okay. 
One. Okay, you ready? Oh boy. No more bubbles. Oh, I saw you. Okay. Order up. Order bubbles. Order bubbles. Okay. Here we go. Three. Yeah, three. Okay. And then there was a dog. Okay. Ready. Order. No more bubbles. Order up. Order down. Order lows. Bubbles. Okay, what do we have? One. One? One. One. Oh. And then that one. Oh. Okay. We have a winner. Okay. 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 It could be more. It could be less. It could be less. Oh! Oh! oh. Absolutely. It's my favorite! Nice! Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was awesome, you guys. Hey, stay hydrated after all of that exercise. Okay, now we're going to go in a time. Oh, push yes. Teaching time. Oh, Ryan, I'm also a little bit out. We'll do the worship time at the end, but for now, I wanted to jump right into things, and we're learning about what was the word to say? Contentment. 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 With an N. Contentment. 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 Thank you for teaching me all these phonics words. Content. Contentment. Contentment. So. There's a holiday coming up that I think is one of the most uncontent of all of the holidays. Halloween. 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 Uh, I think Thanksgiving, like there's at least a little element of gratitude where you're like, thank you for this, thank you for this. Halloween, Halloween maybe for kids, but for adults, there's a holiday coming up that's just crazy. Like sometimes adults go absolutely crazy on this holiday. And it's nothing to do with contentment. It's like the most discontent thing I've ever seen. Any ideas? Halloween, because they steal their Black Friday is the holiday. Check out this video of some Black Friday shoppers and want to see, is this contentment? Oh, no, that's not there's like elbows being pushed, they're, they're going crazy, they're, they're pulling them off the shelves left and right. That guy grabbed two. Why are they doing that? They're, they're getting them all, getting them all flat. Oh my goodness. A little bit crazy. And it takes like two seconds and all of those items are gone. They're just like pushing each other. Watch out, Grandma. You'll be okay. So crazy. It's actually like that. Oh my goodness. Did you know that each Black Friday while people are shopping, that people die what? shopping? What? Like at Walmart, they're going shopping, Black Friday, getting some Christmas gifts for their kids, and people die. Because they're shopping, because they're pushing each other, they're trampling each other, people get like stomped to death on Black Friday, <coughs> trying to shop. Now, it's not like every store in the world, everyone's getting trampled, don't get crazy or anything like that. But somewhere in America on Black Friday, someone will die. Shopping. Doesn't look like a lot of contentment to me. Sometimes us adults have the same problem no. that we teach. We're, we're not content with things. Like, uh, William, what kind of phone do you have? Uh, an iPhone 7 Plus. An iPhone 7 Plus, which at one point was like the bee's knees. And then there came out the 8 and the 10 and the 10 S, Q, Z, W, 4. I can't keep up. These new phones come out all the time. And I know there's a lot of people that are like, but, but I got to get the new one. It's, it's new. It has two more pixels. I don't really know what they do. Um, and they get super excited about things. And it's stuff. And sometimes kids, I know we do it too. Like, um, let's see, the, the Fortnite game, level five, version five was out, and it was cool, but now there's six. Anyone still rocking five? No. Moving on to six. And, and what about the skins? I, I missed Cindy mentioned that, the, the new skins that come out. And those cost money, right? Yeah. Like, you're buying 
clothes on a character in a video game that's yeah. different. Um, I don't get that one, but I'm sure I do weird things too. And there's a lot of things that we, at one point in time, were super content over, but then something new comes out, or maybe we just grow up a little bit, and we're no longer content with it. But there's a verse that I want us to look at. We're going to dive into it really heavy. It's found in Hebrews, and I need a reader. Somebody want to read this verse? Thank you, Annabelle. It's right here. Don't be controlled by love for money. Be happy with what you have. Hebrews 13, 5. All right, so don't be <coughs> controlled. Don't be controlled. You might be like, uh, not me. Never done it. Never been controlled by money. No? Yay. Maybe. What about stuff? If we change our money for stuff, because you can buy stuff with money. Don't be controlled by the love for stuff. I think we've been there. I know sometimes um, I might go to bed thinking about something and then wake up the next morning thinking about it some more and I might jump in and do the exact same thing that I went to bed thinking about. Uh, have you ever done that? Maybe you're playing a game and you, you go to bed and then like you should be content. You, you played the game all night but then you get up and the first thing you want to do is jump back on the TV and start playing or, or am I the only one? Only one a little content? Uh, Legos, you ever built something that takes like more than a thousand steps? And it's just this massive thing that you you want finished so bad and then you have to go to bed. But you wake up the next morning, jump up early and start start building again. There's a lot of things that I think that we can be discontent over. And this one says don't be what was the third word? Controlled. Controlled. Don't be controlled by it. And by the love of it. So actually, here, does it say that money is bad? No. Read it again. Let's make sure. No? No? It doesn't say that money is bad. Money is just money. It's stuff. Money is not bad. The love of money. I think that's what gets you in trouble. What about stuff? Stuff bad? Yeah. No. No? No? It's stuff. But being controlled by stuff, that, that's what's bad. And then it says, be happy with what you have. Anyone there always happy with what you have? No. Can you think of a time that you weren't happy with what you had? No. Yeah. I can remember this week sitting down with Mr. Glenn. It was his 50th birthday. He joined the club. And we went to lunch. We went to the New Mexican place over by the Amp. You been there yet? It's, it's pretty good. I liked it. And we're sitting there eating. We have nachos. I got cheese dip. Splurged a little because it was his birthday. And uh, while we're sitting there eating, guess what we were talking about? Being happy with what we have. Being happy with what we have? Negative. <laughs> no, we were talking about food. We were talking about some like really good food while we're eating food. We should have been content. We're eating this new Mexican place, enjoying some cheese dip. And instead, we were talking about these other meals that we've had before that were just super good. Man, I wish we could have this meal again while we're eating food. So I've been there. I've been controlled by stuff. Um, and I've also not been happy with what I have. And there's times that we do this. Um, maybe you can think of it like this. Um, anybody in here have their driver's license yet? What? I don't believe it. Show me. Uh, I don't think so. Well, how long, man? Uh, I gave my learners in about a month. Learners in about a month. Oh, oh yeah. So, uh, Will, come here. Let, let's let's break this down a little bit. You're about to get your learners, and there's a lot of responsibility with driving a car. Actually, I got a picture of one of the coolest cars I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah? yeah. It's a Ford. It's a Ford Focus? Oh, yeah. SE? 2000. Well, maybe I don't remember. It's fine. You need a little burden. So, Glenn. Will. You are about to get a license. So, teach these fine young kids how to drive. Okay. <laughs> Step one. Step one. First, you gotta get the key to unlock the car. Okay. Well, everybody knows that. Check. Well, some cars don't have a key. 
So you just have either, to have it in your either, either, either you put the key in the ignition and turn it, or you just like put your brake either. If it doesn't have a key, it doesn't have ignition, you put your foot on the brake and press the button. Quick question though. Um, my car is not that fancy. I don't have any push button ignition stuff. Yeah, my mom's car does. Um, but I, I gotta probably open the door, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you step first. You open the door so you can get into the car. Okay, so from there, now we we open the door. We got in the car. And now what? With the key and the ignition. Okay, right where's side. it at? It should be on the right side or back on the behind the wheel. Okay, that makes sense. I got it. Are you guys paying attention? Yes. Some of you might need to drive home tonight. <laughs> yeah. you know, so you stick, you stick the key in, key in, turn it forward. Turn it forward. So okay. We've got to keep our foot on the brake. Left or right? Left or right? I, I think it's smart too. Turn it forward. Like that. I do. Tons of them. You wait, <laughs> wait until the engine starts and once the so engine starts. Give us a quick sound effect. What would this sound like? Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to hear you try. All right, so we got the car started. What's next? Hold on. Safety first. Put on I think we're supposed to put our seatbelt on before the whole ignition thing. Yeah, well, you already failed. Nah. This is important stuff. You might not get your permit after all. What is this? Yeah, this is like a spoken word written test. I don't know. So turn the car. Now what? Okay. It's running. We got our seatbelt on. Seatbelt on. Car's on. Okay. So you put you put it in gear. No. Like here? It might also be down here. Well, I'm 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 using a truck. I also saw a truck that had like a button that you pushed to go into gear. I thought that was weird. You pull you pull it out. Of, you're about to pull out of the drive, but you put it in gear first. Then okay. So we're in reverse. We do this. Yeah. Use your, no. use your rear. Kids, kids, kids. Help them out. Okay. You gotta look in the mirror and see what's behind you. Look in the mirror. Oh. Fix your oh, hair yeah. and then dry it out. My hair looks fine. You gotta fix your hair. Oh. My hair looks fine. So what are you looking for while you're backing up? <laughs> you, look any, you look for anything like a like any car obstacle. driving by so you won't hit them with like a dog or animal. That makes perfect sense. Now, how do you back up? So you press the uh, gas very slowly. Now that's good advice, because if you slam on the gas, yeah. you'll be Oh, and hey, don't forget that it's it's like opposite directions. So like forward, it's like this way, but backwards, it's like this way. If you want to turn to the right. Yeah. Yes. So if you want to turn to the right, you have to I don't know, I've never paid that much attention, I guess. And then, what do you do you after you that? Okay, so back up. Once you back down the drive, once you back down the drive, mirrors are clear. So you're in, so you're back on the drive, or you're in the road. Put it in drive. Okay, the D. Step on the gas a little bit. And floor the gas. No, you're not. No, you're not floor it. Say deuces. <laughs> Turn up the music real loud and no. get pulled over by Glenn. You have you haven't reached you haven't reached the stop sign to enter your neighborhood yet. So you slow down once once you once you hit the stop sign. You slow down. I think you hit the gas. Right. Yeah, the gas good. <laughs> oh, brakes over there. So th there's a reason I'm doing all this. So if Will is sitting in his car. He's driving down the road, and this is after he's licensed, by the way. <laughs> Who is in control? Hey. What if I'm in the passenger seat? We're beside each other. Who's in control now? What if I'm in the back seat? What if I'm in the back seat kicking on his seat? What if I'm in the trunk? What if I'm on the hood of the roof? Well, what if I'm in the very front of the car, like holding onto that little well, car? Gonna get off. Yeah. What I hear you saying is, Will, if yeah. you're driving, you're the one in charge of this. You're controlling the car. Okay, that's a little bit different than this. So, um, I brought my with this friend, Batman. <laughs> Everybody loves Batman. In control of this car. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you just said that Batman was in, or that Will was in control of his car. Yeah, because he's in control. Yo, Batman, drive off the ramp. Drive Batman. Off. Oh. 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 Batman. Oh. 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 I guess I'm kind of going in reverse, but I just kind of risked it. Um, but what's the difference here? Why? Why is 
Batman not in control of his car, because but Will's in control of his car. Because you have control. control. You're like God, so you have the little controllers and you can do whatever. So I'm controlling Batman. Yeah. Yeah, because you have Also Batman. Now these are very similar. A little bit different, like you're not taped to the car. You're actually in this imaginary car. And Batman's just chilling there. But the difference is this. In Will's situation, he's got the keys, he's sitting in the driver's seat, he's in control. In this situation, Batman's just kind of taped to, to the hood, and I've got the control here. Now, this right here is a good example of our stuff and our money. Because you might have stuff, and you might have money, but are you in control of it? Are you the one that holds on to the, the remote and is making sure that what you have honors God? Yes. Or... Is your stuff controlling you? Like, are you not able to sleep because you're thinking about your stuff or your game? Are you not able to hang out with your friends or be part of your family because you're worried about your stuff and your things? It's a good question. Will, I think that you're gonna be a great driver. Just don't run anyone over when you're backing up watching your hair in the mirror. Could you see? Uh, All right. There's more to this verse. I said that we're going to dive in and look at the whole verse. Annabelle, will you finish the rest of this verse? We said don't be controlled by love for money. Be happy with what you have. But that's not the end. There's more. What's it say? God has said, I will never leave you. I will never desert you. Hebrews 13, 5. Now, the last part of that verse, that's a big deal. Because if it was all about my stuff, then I'm going to try to get as much stuff as I can. I'm going to try to be in control of all that stuff. Because stuff is kind of makes things convenient. If I got a lot of money and I'm hungry, what do I do? Go buy food. Go buy food. And if my car breaks down, I might just go buy a new car. Or a jet. Or a taxi. I don't know. Or a taxi. If, it, if it's all about the stuff, then I just want to get as much stuff as I can. I want to be in control of that stuff. And, and I definitely wouldn't want to give some of my stuff to other people. I want it to be all mine so I'm in control. But there's more to it than our stuff. Uh, God's never going to leave you. He'll never desert you. And so, man, if I really want to be content, it's not about my stuff. It's about God. It's remembering that God's going to meet all of my needs according to his glorious riches. It means that I'm going to honor God with my stuff. And it also means, this one might be a little bit hard. I'm going to worship God and not the stuff that... God created, or this, just the stuff. And if you ask, and you're like, whoa, 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 Corey, whoa, I don't worship stuff. If you aren't able to not think about a game or not think about stuff, your thoughts are worshiping stuff. It's not worshiping God. If all of your time and energy is going towards stuff, you're worshiping stuff. So let's do this. Let's focus on God. And also, man, I think one of the ways to, to fight against this lack of contentment, when, when you realize, man, I want more stuff, or you're thinking about all your, the things in your life, way to combat that so that you, you can really do the right thing is to be grateful. I know when I'm slipping, when I'm messing up, I'm, my heart generally isn't the most grateful heart. And I need to remember, man, God, you've blessed me extremely. I have so much to be thankful for. It's when I'm thinking about all that other stuff that I, I get sidetracked. So let's do this. Let's not be controlled by the love of money. Let's be happy with what we have. Let's remember that God's with us. He's never going to leave us. He's never going to desert us. And let's think about this question as we move into our worship time. Today's question says, why do you still want stuff that can't keep you happy? So man, that stuff, it, it gets old. Did you catch what they were fighting for in that video at the beginning? Yeah. Those adults that were going crazy at the store? They were fighting for uh, TV. It looked like a car. It, it kind of looked like a TV, but it was one of those little picture things. Oh, on like a coffee maker. Like, you know what they are, those digital picture frames yeah. that like oh, yeah. five, ten years ago were the coolest thing in the world, and now they're kind of stupid? <laughs> I don't know. I, I guarantee this summer, or this... Uh, Black Friday, if you went to Walmart, no one's going for the digital picture frames. No. Because stuff doesn't leave you happy. Stuff is 
very disappointing in the end. Um, those adults, they're, they're not fighting over that this year. They might be fighting over the new thing um, if they're still not content. But they're, they're definitely not fighting over a digital picture. And you, um, it, it might seem weird one day to be like, man, I fought over this game. <laughs> because it's a game, and there's new games, and games just don't satisfy in the end. So let's do this. Let's, let's not be controlled by love of stuff. Let's focus on God. Let's be grateful for what we have, and let's worship Him that way. Um, we're going to sing a couple of songs, and while we're doing that, I want you to just like look in your heart. Think about it. Is stuff controlling me? Am I controlling my stuff? Who's sitting in that driver's seat? And am I honoring God? Am I worshiping God with my stuff? Or is it just a distraction? I don't know. Let's think about that while we, while we sing. Ready for this, Donald? Yep, sure. Why not? All right, let's stand up.